Good afternoon and welcome to the Security Watch India conference uh, being organized here at the Hotel Lalit, New Delhi, 9th December 2009. And with me is um, uh, a technology partner, you could say, or someone who's come up with an excellent new solution, a very innovative new solution uh, called a standoff laser technology which can detect explosives, including traces of explosives. So is that right? So this is Mr. Daniel Swenson and welcome Mr. Swenson to India and indeed Thank to Delhi. You. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Swenson, we'd like to know, uh, you represent Portendo yes. and uh, as we know, uh, Portendo is, uh, has this technology which was developed by the Swedish labs, government funded technology. It was developed by Swedish labs, government labs and is now available through a public-private partnership, is that right? Yes, that, that's true. Uh, the uh, standoff uh, trace detection technology we use was developed by the Swedish Defense Research Agency and uh, now we can uh, put it on the market uh, with our, our cooperation with them. Uh, Mr. Svensson, we'd like to know, given the fact that Sweden is a neutral country and it has guarded its neutrality with the excellent products such as the Wigan, the Gripen, the fighter aircrafts, the armored vehicles, the you know uh, other technologies that you have. Uh, what explains the fact that even though you do not have a market as large as, say, the US, you know, the whole lot of technology players there, yet Sweden is able to come up with excellent innovations in its own niche areas? We have a, a pretty large defense industry in Sweden, and you mentioned a few other products that have been successful. Um, I'd also like to add that we've been working with the explosives uh, research and explosives detection, detection research for a very long time. Uh, since uh, Alfred Nobel invented the dynamite, Sweden has had this as a key subject for uh, research. Excellent. Mr. Svensson, uh, while demonstrating your technology, you showed that even a few uh, grams or even micrograms of uh, granules of explosive can be detected by your technology. Uh, how does this work? How do you make this possible? We actually use a technology that's based on a discovery by an Indian uh, doctor named C.V. Raman, who got the Nobel Prize in 1930. And uh, it's called Raman spectroscopy. What it does is that it uh, looks at the chemical composition of uh, the substance. And we detect that and we can actually tell exactly what substance we are looking at. Great. So this means that even compounds are detectable? Yes, we can detect compounds. and. We did detect single ingredients that are used in, uh, for example, improvised explosives, but also compositions that, that are used. Great. Now, given the fact that, say, uh, the aviation sector is one of the, uh, you know, the sectors that are most well protected or fortified against terror, perhaps they would like to invest in a technology like this. Can something like Portendo's innovation actually stop someone like the shoe bomber from boarding an aircraft? Uh, it could potentially. Uh, today we work mostly on detecting explosives on vehicles uh, to make sure that we don't have vehicle-borne IEDs uh, entering any secure areas. This is a big problem today and a vehicle-borne IED makes very large damage. Uh, so that's our key point uh, for interest today. Uh, given the facts uh, that uh, there was a vehicle-borne terrorist who had driven up to the Marriott, in Pakistan and exploded one half of the building, you know, yeah. uh, using that. Is that the kind of a threat that you are really, uh, you know, you can ensure, you can say with almost 99 or 100% accuracy that you can safeguard against? Yeah, definitely. That's a good example, the uh, Marriott bombing in Islamabad. Uh, and there has been other attempts like, the, like that. But there you can actually see that even uh, when stopped at the gate, uh, you need to have good technology to actually identify the explosives early on so that you can protect your, uh, your facility. What kind of clients are you looking at in India? Which sectors and which specific clients would you have in mind? We have a number of clients in mind. We, uh, we want to protect the harbors in India, airports, uh, especially for uh, cargo traffic and, uh, and uh, that kind of traffic. Uh, also uh, power plants, uh, oil refineries, the whole oil industry and uh, in particular uh, facilities and infrastructure uh, where, where we want high security. Uh, given the fact that this is an absolutely new technology right, and uh, it is still not uh, been fully certified for use in India thus far, how do we plan to go ahead in such a way that if a client, an Indian client is looking at uh, purchasing a technology, how does he go about uh, proceeding? 
uh, well, he would talk to our dis distributor in uh, India, uh, which is uh, Indian Eye Security. Um, and we also uh, need to get a permission from the Swedish authorities to export to, uh, to this uh, client. Um, and that would be it? That would be it. So that's simple, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Finally, Mr. Svensson, we'd like to know, uh, given the fact that uh, Security Watch India has organized this conference and it has also come up with an initiative called Secure Delhi, which is bringing together people like you from all parts of the world with excellent new innovative technologies, as well as the government and public-private partnerships and uh, schools, colleges, industry on one platform. What do you think of an initiative like this uh, you know, and what potential does it have to uh, work for the betterment of security of all? I think these initiatives are very good and uh, especially at this conference we're very happy to be here and to be able to demonstrate the technology for the first time in India. Um, it's important for us to, to be seen. We think this is one of the most impor important markets for this uh, technology.